Morning folks, Calvin Schwill here with In-Depth Outdoors Ice Pro Staff. This is my first episode of On the Ice and I'm heading to South Dakota, going ice fishing out there. Good news is, lots of big fish, low pressure, and a ton of wind, as you'll see shortly here coming up. This folks is On the Ice. Like I said, folks, this, these conditions out in the Webster area that I was fishing this past weekend were tough. But just like anywhere out in the Midwest, we're running into thin ice, water on ice, and in fact, no ice at all. As you can see, some of this open water that has come across this ice is causing havoc on this ice right now. And we took safety first and we got off the ice when, when we seen these types of conditions come about. But still, nonetheless, safety first, folks, safety first. I like to fish a lot, as you guys probably already know this, but more important to me is fishing with family and friends. Usually when I'm going out on these big trips, we're taking three to four trucks, we're taking three trailers, multiple snowmobiles, or multiple wheelers. What we're doing with this big group is we're having fun. We're out ice fishing, and we're being able to locate these big schools of fish, which we're targeting, which makes catching fish more fun. Do it with friends, do it with family, do it with whomever you want to. The point of it is, is to get out there ice fishing, have fun, and be safe about it. The Webster area in, in eastern South Dakota is just like very similar to, to Devil's Lake, North Dakota. It doesn't have any escape route, so these lakes are growing and they're becoming more and more fertile each year, which means bigger fish, more fish, which makes the fishing opportunities awesome. If you're looking for some big fish, look at these flooded lakes in eastern South Dakota because these fish are growing to be here. Eastern South Dakota is known for clear lakes. What we're doing is we're using eighth ounce custom jigs and spins slender spoon with just tipping it with the minnow head. We're ripping that slender spoon within the water column and drawing these fish in. These fish are coming in and smacking the heck out of that spoon, which creates a great fight for us, which puts these big fish on the ice for us. Not only the challenges of, first of all, getting a fish to commit to your bait, but when you do set the hook and actually get a fish on, as you can see here, my dad is gonna, stands up to fight the fish and the bucket takes off in the 40 mile an hour winds. He gains control of the bucket, doesn't lose the fish, and sits down and lands this nice perch. You know, out in eastern South Dakota, there isn't much for a windbreak whatsoever, but these guys took advantage of whatever they could. They found some flooded timber here, they're hiding behind the trees, and they're popping fish. The wind is somewhat tolerable at a 40 mile an hour clip. Thank God for those snow suits, but however, throwing a little bit of snow, goes from tolerable to miserable instantly. You know, we're fishing with a great group of guys uh, on this trip out here. We're having a lot of fun. We're out fishing, we're not sitting in a motel even though the conditions don't warrant ideal fishing conditions. And you know it's plenty windy out when a guy can't even stand up to grab a six inch perch with three feet of line out there because it's blowing in the wind. Hats off to you Bradley, good job. Uh, these lakes out in eastern South Dakota that we're targeting this week um, are some relatively deep lakes. They're, they're averaging about 30, maybe 35 foot. But what we're targeting when we're looking for these perch and crappies is we're looking for those fish to spend it. Um, today, we are actually in the wood just because conditions force us to be in the wood. And this is a shallow water bite. This is a less than 10 foot bite, but this is what the weather dealt us this day. However, as you'll see a little bit here, we're out targeting these fish in just a little bit deeper water, and that's where those fish were roaming. One thing about fishing unique bodies of water and different bodies of water is you never know who's going to show up at the access when you're done fishing. I totally respect the South Dakota Fish and Game Service to come and check us for our license. We're fishing on a trophy walleye like this day. They're looking for walleyes to make sure that we don't have an illegal fish. Hats off to these guys for doing their job in the tough conditions. As we found out, we're the only crazy people out there in about a hundred mile radius of Webster in this day. Obviously the conditions were flat out brutal. The big fish that we did catch, as you'll see here in the buckets here, we weren't able to get on camera because of those 50 mile an hour winds. But as you can see, those fish, those crappies especially, and some dandy nice perch that were thrown in the mix as well. I think we ended up with a, you know, a meal, a good solid meal for seven guys of some nice big crappies and some nice big perch. Well, good morning everybody. Uh, day three of our South Dakota ice fishing adventures got us on a new lake. Kind of getting started out here, as you can maybe here in the background, we got three three augers drilling holes right now for us to jump around. Uh, looking for walleyes today um, on a new lake, so 
give it a couple hours before we finally head home today, so we'll see what happens. But the last day here, drilling holes early in the morning before sunup. We thought we'd get that little bit of reprieve from the wind, but as soon as we're done drilling, here comes old Mother Nature blowing at us again. We're getting to the end of our um, trip out to South Dakota, and these guys are really working hard, focusing on trying to get after these big, you know, one and a half and two pound perch that this lake is famous for. In fact, this area is famous for. Uh, we're doing everything we can to try to ice the field before we unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. So stay tuned to see some more. Nice solid perch. Nice big perch, right? Yeah, it was real funny because all of a sudden they'd come up, you know, you'd raise your jig up three, four feet, they'd sit there, you'd drop below them, they'd go down after it, and then you'd raise up above, and then they'd finally hit it. Yeah, so you kind of got to play around with these bad boys. Have a nice, nice solid perch. You know, I spent a lot of time behind the camera on this trip. Um, I'll do it anytime for these great group of guys, but I did get a chance to get and actually fish a little bit. Um, I was able to actually catch my biggest personal best perch I've ever caught. This one taped out at just just over 14 inches. So, hey, I'm pleased any chance I can get a uh, chance to land a fish like that. This is my first on ice adventure with In-Depth Outdoors and it's fun. Um, stay tuned, look for more. Um, Calvin Schwill, In-Depth Outdoors, on ice.